I thought I would share a little bit about my drawing journey with you because we are all beginners in some ways. And so I just wanted to share with you sort of the evolution of me learning to draw faces and where I started and kind of where I am in my journey. So this is the back side of a page because it's to me a little bit shocking. <laughs> And one of the very first faces that I tried to do with acrylic paint. And so bear in mind, this is, this is, I don't know, I did this in 2014 or maybe 2015. So here we go. So I painted this face with acrylic paint, drew it, painted it, and hated it. I was so disappointed and so discouraged. I thought I'm never going to learn to draw faces and I didn't draw faces at all for a long time. I just quit. I just quit. I just couldn't, I couldn't move past it for a long time. And finally, after a while, I just thought I'm just going to try. And so in January of 2016 is when I really started in earnest trying to learn to draw faces. So these are some that I drew then. Um, some, I was just doing graphite and adding a little bit of ink here and there. And, you know, they're okay. They're not fabulous, but they're okay. And at the time, I was pretty happy with them. I think uh, I really like this one. I think it's cute and that one. So it was fun. Um, here's another one that I did in January, and I loved this one. But this was very rare to get one that I actually really liked. And so I just kept practicing. This is near the end of January. But I was finding that it was taking me a really long time because I was drawing and I was erasing and erasing and drawing and back and forth and erased probably more than I was drawing. Um, I don't know if you can tell in this paper, it's got basically graphite all over because of so much erasing and trying to work on it. And it was taking me a long time. It was taking me one or two hours to draw one face. Uh, this was done. These were all done at different times just on the same paper. So I had to find a way to practice without taking so much time, first of all, and being less wrapped up in all the little tiny details of trying to get it just right. So I decided that I would start using something that was more difficult to erase. So I would basically stop erasing and I didn't want to be tempted to erase. And so I started using these magic pencils. They have multicolored lead. They're a wax-based pencil, colored pencil. And I have a set of these and they have all these nice colors. And so I thought that would be fun to draw with and I would not be erasing these. You can erase colored pencil, but it's just different than graphite. And so I continued drawing. And this was in March with this pencil. It was the original. It was the only one that I had at the time and I used it for drawing everything. And I added a little bit of ink in. And I was, I was getting pretty happy. And again, sometimes they were not so good. Sometimes they were good. I was pretty happy with these. Um, still struggling a lot with the eyes. Quite a bit better with lips and, and mouth, but proportions not so great. But I'm. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> when I drew this, I was like, yes, okay. It looks like a person. If it looks like a face, looks like a person. I was happy. This is also a colored pencil. I have one like this, but it's all blue. And then sometimes. I would get something that I really, really liked. So this one was done in May. And actually, this one was done in May of 2016. This one also. I was really happy with this one. I embellished it, and I thought it was really pretty, really happy. And another one that I really liked from that time. And I, I found that I like filling up the page, so I really enjoyed this. And this was actually done with this uh, original Magic Fix pencil. So if you want to do your drawings, I didn't include this in the supply video, but if you want to do your drawings with this kind of pencil, they're great for that. So I was working on paper all this time from, from January 
until May, just on these sheets of paper. And at the same time, I started working in a book, just a sketchbook. Not This is a very inexpensive sketchbook, and I just wanted to be able to sit and draw while, say, I was watching television or something. And I did faces I drew almost every day, almost every day. So I filled up a lot of... A lot of books so this one is another one from March so you can see that you know I some turned out well some didn't and guess what that's still the way it is now sometimes they just don't turn out the way I want them to and that's just part of being an artist part of drawing not everything can be perfect and great but there's an example from March and then this is a little bit of a departure from faces, right? But I thought to myself, okay, what if? What if drawing faces has helped me to learn to draw other things? And so I drew this kind of crazy cow and um, I drew this flamingo and I was like, wow, I'm learning. So all this practice with faces didn't just help me with faces, it helped me <laughs> with other things as well. So I want to encourage you that wherever you are, any kind of practice will move you forward. And that's what you want as an artist, just to go forward. And then here's another one that I did. This was in July. And I was trying out these different, they were still multicolored pencils, but it was all different colors of one color, one hue. So this was, a multicolored of greens and um, just really having a lot of fun with that. So I filled this entire book. I think there were one or two blank pages. Sometimes I didn't do the back because I didn't want it to show through. And these are not in any particular order. So I have a lot of faces in here and then I have some other things in here that I just tried. Oh, there's a mermaid. Did this in, in June. eyes so I filled up this book and then I was like okay I'm still drawing and practicing almost every day and I also do these sort of zentangles so I wanted to incorporate the doodling and the drawing of the faces together so I started drawing these these were in September of last year 2016 again I'm still using the colored pencils I'm using, I probably used a specifically blue pencil there, and I used the magic pencil. So, I, uh, and I'm really happy with these. I think they're really pretty. I just wanted to put that together and combine it. And so, that's one that's not finished. I just did a few of those. And then I started incorporating it into other things like my art journals and things like that so let's see this one was in January of 2017 and when I drew this and put the watercolor down I put the wrong color of watercolor I put this really vibrant yellow here and I was really freaked out and I was like this is terrible it's gonna turn out really bad and I'm gonna hate it and I stepped away for a minute and I looked through some little washi tapes that I had and I came across this one that says make more messy mistakes and I went okay I refocused I went let me see what I can do with this and this is actually now one of my favorite favorite drawings and it's mixed media it has colored pencil watercolor um, ink just a lot of a lot of fun so that was one and here's another one that I enjoy doing Again, it's a mixed media, uh, mixed media face. So I'm just sharing with you a little about my journey. And here's another one. So I feel like now I can really draw a face, a forward-facing, whimsical face. And I've come really far just by practicing a lot. I practice a lot, but at the same time, remember, I kept it as simple as possible. Kiss, keep it super simple. So I used 
my non-erasable, to me, pencil, did not erase. I spent 10 or 15 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes drawing, um, and just decided to enjoy the process and accept what was there. And so now I'm drawing. I, t I, I started really focusing on the eyes when I did these. I really wanted to focus on the eyes. This one's not done. And I just really started trying to hone in on how I wanted the eyes to look. And um, so now I'm still doing colored pencil drawings. And I want the eyes to be full of light and life. And I feel like I've come very far. And so I want to encourage you that everyone starts somewhere. You saw where I started. I showed you that. And I almost let that stop me completely. So don't let where you are now stop you. Because if you start and you continue, you will come to a place where you are surprised. You have surprised yourself. And you can draw faces. You can draw pretty much anything you want. If you can learn to draw faces, you can learn to draw anything. And so I believe that you can do it. I know that you can. And I hope this class is going to give you a start in that. And so let's get started with drawing. <laughs> 